What's up guys and welcome back. We have finally received a big update. It is not an operation as you know them from before. No new maps and yeah, well, not really anything and content. But yeah, we get a lot of new skins, a lot of new stuff. We get the charms for the weapons. We get obviously new stickers and we got some bug fixes here and there. But today I just want to talk about the new content, the armory update, the armory pass here for the game. Okay, here we are in CS2 and yeah, this is how the entire overlay looks like if you got the armor pass. I got two. You can get five at once and you level them all at once. One pass costs 15, 19 in euros, depends on your currency in your own country. How the actual operation pass or the armory pass works. It's not like a normal operation. You don't have missions. That's what I think is a bit sad because the missions were, for me personally, the fun thing. Like get 10 kills in deathmatch or kill 25 people with the SMGs or spray graffiti's here, throw some smokes there. This was really fun. You had a lot of reasons to play new game modes or other game modes like deathmatch, casual and stuff like that. Different maps and wingman and what's all and i really like that but this one is just yeah you play and earn uh, xp and that's it so yeah that's the only thing you actually do you can hope as i said before you can have five of the armory passes at the same time they all level at the same time you get 40 stars per pass which adds to a total of 200 stars if you want to get five of them 75 euros something so pretty expensive there to have all five of them will uh, yes i will definitely do all five of them because i've been waiting for an update so long so i'm really glad that we at least got an update at this point first off we have the limit Limited edition item cost 25 stars, which is a deagle looks like I don't know, looks like a case hardened on a wish. So I don't really like that. I wouldn't buy that. I don't know. Next up, we have the link charms, which are just characters here. Got some CT agents there. Yeah, I don't see it. Well, we got a chicken. That's nice. They don't see a T agent. Too, huh? Well, yeah, okay. You got some T agents there as well, but not the, the, not the default T agent. We got the default CT agent here, but not the default T agent. Pretty disappointing. Next up, we have small arms charms, which is, yeah, well, that's for the weapons, which I think look pretty funny. Like the USP here. Got an AK there. Oh, and you get a knife so so it's no negevs and no p90s or revolvers here so yeah okay the mac 10 here and the tech 9 we've got ak's m4s and stuff like that the overpass collection 2024 is that a leak for a rework of overpass coming back to competitive who knows let's just skip through the skins midnight paint over p90 wash me the neon squeezer the wash me please it's a overpass themed obviously but the wall bang negev you got the galila metallic squeezer mac 10 pipsqueak the nova worst hurler even though i got my <laughs> even though i got my game in english it's still german teal graph sweet little angels monster melt eye of zappems Rakao. Dragon, Snore, another Zeus skin. I don't know. I don't like it. Be the monster. And they would only get one red skin. One covered per collection anyway. But I am I must admit, I do not like... I, I really don't like any of these skins. It doesn't... It's, it's not for my taste. I must say, it's not for my taste. I don't like them at all. None of them. For the graphic collection, let's go and skip them quickly as well. A Spectrogram, M249, Halftone World, Famas, Halftone Wash, Astrolabe, which I think is pretty nice. And the Envy. That's a nice skin. I really like this one. The green, black touch. The Coral half tone, a P2K, a Scar 20 Wild Berry. Has some purple touch to it, so would be something for my loadout, I must admit, but very hard to obtain anyway. Berry Gal Coat. I think it's cool. Crossfade. I like this one. There are some things I really do like. Half tone shift. Nah, don't like that one. CZ Auto Slalom. Too colorful for me. Too colorful. The Poly Soup. It has a nice, decent pearlescent effect on the writing. I think that looks pretty cool, but that's it. The Starcade, they have actually added a lot of glitter onto the skins, which I think is pretty cool. And it's a new feature. I haven't seen any glitter skins in the in the cases the proper glitter you can see here all the shiny stuff very nice graphic design collection here the little pig uh i don't like that one either and the cmyk i don't know i don't like that it's uh cyan magenta yellow i don't know what the k stands for but the cmyk i think is uh you have the cmy normally have a cmyb i think it's uh cyan magenta yellow and black you have in your printer um and i think that's a mix of everything i don't know what the k stands for but submit well that's the orb i don't like that either people say oh that's oh so awesome so nice and yeah i don't like it at all for the sports and field collection yes we have the m41s fade in 
this collection, which will be probably the most valuable of them all. I think it's okay. The Axia Glock, I think it looks nice. I like the glitter. That looks like uh, my daughter just took a bit of a glitter powder in her craft, in her art, and just sprayed it over there, cut a line off, and yeah, you know. Uh, this one's really nice. The Rainbow Spoon, I think that is pretty awesome. The Crimson Foil, nice red UMP. Absolutely incredible. A white Arctic Tritone. Heat treated, that's the same thing as the Deagle, just a... Uh, 57 case hard and off wish Al alpine camo purplish nice really enjoy that one yorkshire okay small game not needed the zeno is pretty cool could be better though must admit and yeah some wildwood this looks like just photograph of leaves so no creative own designs on it like only made textures this is, looks like a photograph cold cell it's a gray whatever but a nice budget ak i think this is a very nice ak i must admit looks pretty nice i don't know this looks uh, well worn already so you probably have to get it in factory new Palmas half sleeve is okay it's pretty cool i guess stencil savannah half tone don't need that one and that was it sports and field collection sports and field collections yeah well that's uh so much for the collections there's like what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 10 skins I really like and the rest is just garbage. Next up we're at the gallery case. Obviously they have to introduce a new case with every update so they make some money. Obviously we'll start from... I, I, I like the way they showcase this. This is really cool. I like this one. This is really nice. I like the way they might do this. This is really nice. Uh, the M249 Hypnosis. I opened two of them already. Luxtrum. The Statics. That's the one I got in Star Trek. Calligraffiti. USPS 027. I like we get another blue USP skin. I'm still looking for another multi-spec grade USP skin, which is easy to obtain, probably cheap, and stat track is still nice. I went the wrong way because it started not at the front. Revolver Tango. Every, every case has our revolver. We need a Trailblazer Scar 20. We have a Turbine, which I think is looks pretty nice as well. I like this one. Wonder where, where does, where's the stat track? I think it's here somewhere. Very confused with this one. I think that looks very nice. The Hydro Strike. Nope. Disgusting. This one is okay. Very shiny and colorful. A bit creepy, I must admit. The Randy Rat, no, don't like that one either. This one, the Rapid Transit, the SSG for the Scout. I really like this one. I like white skins. I like white patterns. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a train. It's train tracks. You see, there's like train tracks on them, like a train plan. You see in your in your subways or your trains. The outside is AK47. Not really mine. I think it just looks absolutely disgusting. Don't like that one. Epicenter, I think it's cool. It has a nice pearlescent effect to it as well, which I think is really nice. Neo Noir proper. Yeah, a lot of people like neon our skins, so they're probably happy with this one. The gold tough. Gold tooth. Instead of tooth, they say tooth. Which I think uh, for reds, come on. The, the pink, really nice. But that, no, I don't like that one. No, that's just taste. It just doesn't hit my taste, must admit. I don't like it. The same as the M4. I don't like it. It just, I think it looks ugly. It's absolutely disgusting. It looks like, I don't know, a, fo a woman falling apart on the kitchen floor. And while she's falling apart, pointing at her murderer or something. I don't know. A lot of fantasy into this. I, don't, I just don't uh, really enjoy this skin at all. Okay, next up we have stickers. I don't know. It's okay. Uh, different skin collections here. This one has pretty nice, I don't know, some effects, some elementals, they call it, elemental craft. You, you probably freaky stuff with this. The community will definitely get creative on that one. Same with these, with the tongue, especially, you know what happens there. <laughs> Same as the hand, and obviously the sticker XD. This one's pretty cute, but yeah, the clown knows, okay? You can use this as a recording button anyway and the flex well there's some pretty funny stuff in here so i bet the community will have a lot to do to find out new crafts okay next up they actually have added italy to the map pool which i think is pretty nice i really enjoy that played one game yeah you can see i lost but finally you can play italy competitive at least we get a new map you can play competitive mills and thera still stay in the map pool doesn't matter if they stay in what is that's what i said before what i do miss are the new maps that you get with the operations also for the charms they have actually introduced a new yeah a new tool it's called the detachment pack because the charms you can attach to your weapons and they stay on there for permanent except you want to detach them cost 95 cents and you can have three of them at the same time and the stat track tool is change the icon you had that before i got some star trek tools still i think in my inventory it's definitely not two of them 95 cents was only for one i think it was yeah and for the rest they have added a lot of bug fixes changed the maps and did some clipping issues and whatever uh not really interested in that just wanted to talk about the new actual content we got the armory pass the operation what everybody was hoping and waiting for as i said it's not the same as before not an operation as we had in the old days but it's at least something that you can play that you get new skills 
skins you can earn them and yeah which is pretty nice at least you get a little bit of content so valve has actually brought out a really nice update in general i missed i missed the missions and the new maps but for now that's fine let's see what the next couple of years will have in store for the cs2 community okay guys that was it for the video just a quick overhaul of what the actual update had just a quick sneak peek and have a look what is in there let me know down in the comments what you think about the update and if you do miss the missions like i do because i really enjoyed the missions that was the i don't know that was the part that was the most fun for me so i'm pretty sad that didn't happen but at least we got some content so thumbs up for that at least valve and as i said a lot of bug fixes see if i cover those in another video if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe for more epic content in the future and i'll see you in the next one